yeah. because although we were not ourselves born there, we know that our people are from there, right? Um, and I have that sense of pride, and I find myself in a lot of conversations where, where I'm educating and defending Africans in the continent of Africa. Yeah. What's good, y'all? It's the Demachette, Sariac, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I am an African. I owe my being to the hills and the valleys, the mountains and the glades, the rivers, the deserts, the trees, the flowers, the seas, and the ever-changing seasons that define the face of our native land. My body has frozen in our frosts and in our latter-day snows. It has thawed in the warmth of our sunshine and melted in the heat of the midday sun. The crack and the rumble of the summer thunders, lashed by startling lightning, have been a cause both of trembling and of hope. The fragrances of nature have been as pleasant to us as the sight of the wild blooms of the citizens of the felt. Mm. The dramatic shapes of the dragon's back, the soil-colored waters of the Likwa, Ikreli, Notugek, and the sands of the Khalahad, have all been panels of the set on the natural stage on which we act out the foolish deeds of the theater of the day. At times, and in fear, I have wondered whether I should concede equal citizenship of our country to the leopard and the lion, the <laughs> elephant and the springbok, the hyena, the black mamba, and the pestilential mosquito. Down to A the mosquito. human presence mm. among all of these a feature on the face of our native land just defined, I know that none dare challenge me when I say I am an African. I used, we, we used to love doing that back in the day right there. No mm -hmm. flips. Yeah, yeah. Man, what a heartful message, though. <laughs> like, you can hit... No, 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 I still got it. Trust me, down to it. <laughs> to the T, very strong. But yeah, yeah, I love this message so far. I mean, it's very heartfelt. And what... Africa just would not be a fulfilled of like Africa without the leopards and the cheetahs and the elephants and the rhinos. Like all of that is a real big staple. Yeah, I to like their that continent. he included that. That's beautiful, bro. Um, what I love most about it is it seems like he's at Parliament. I believe that's what they call it, right? The Parliament. 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 Um. I don't know what was the purpose behind him saying this. I don't know what happened before. Right. Right. But right. But just sounding i mean hearing the pride in him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is what's getting me you know because for so long for so long here go back to africa y'all know we yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. that we've heard that whether we were an african-american or um a african born in america we've all heard that and just it created negative images in our mind of Africa. And so to hear an African just so proud and, you know, he's naming every little thing down to the mosquito. <laughs> okay? I love hearing stuff. Yeah, not as far. No, we're talk. We're yeah. talk. I'm the grandchild of the warrior men and women that in Tansi Kukuni. Warriors. Patriots at Tetrai on the paper took to battle. The soldiers were fresh when Gungunyane taught never to dishonor the cause of freedom. I am the child of Nongawuse. I am he who made it possible to trade in the world markets in diamonds, in gold, in the same food for which our stomachs yearn. Being part of all of these people, and in the knowledge that none does contest that assertion, I shall claim that I'm an African. Mm -hmm. 
today it feels good to be an African. His message was hard. Yes. I love these colors though. Them colors is crazy, bro. Yes, I, love I that. like the whole flag. That flag is so unique to me. Mm -hmm. Let's speak on that topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am proud to be an African. Although we were not born there, I think now we have a sense of pride more than past generations. I can't say more than past generations because baby in the seventies they was off the chain. Mm. Okay, they was mm. <laughs> they was off the chain. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. I think we're regaining that sense of pride and we're act we're building on what they had in the seventies and this is speaking from an African American point of view. No, I feel right? what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. although we were not ourselves born there, we know that our people are from there. Right? Um and I have that sense of pride. And I find myself in a lot of conversations where, where I'm educating and defending Africans in the continent of Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the negative images that people try to put in our head about the continent don't hold weight anymore. No, facts. I agree with you 100%. Don't hold no type of weight. And I ask myself, would I still feel the way I feel now about Africa and its people had I not seen, have I not learned the lies yeah. that was told to us? Yeah, yeah. And I truly think where whatever state Africa was in, whether, you know, now we're seeing um, the, moder the modernization and um, the, the rich cultures, like we're seeing that now. We've never seen that before. Yeah. You know, us, we've never seen that before. Um and I truly believe that I would. Because even when we're researching on our own, and even when we're um, looking on videos with you all, and it may be something that we're not used to. Like, I remember saying, making a comment, like, I don't know if I could live in a home where they didn't have water. And I remember a, a supporter came out of the comment, I mean, the, came in the comment section, and she was like, um, CC, you would because these are your people and you are resilient. And mm. I was like, oh. Mm. Mm. Has to think about it again then. And it brought me back. Nah, I feel that. <laughs> it brought me back to the times when we had to use pliers just to turn the knob yeah, on yeah. the water. You yep. know, nah. so just thinking of those examples. Nah, like, I'm it. proud to it. be an African American. No, nah, I feel it. And it, it, like you mentioned back early in the 70s, they were very resilient. Yeah. It was like in their face type of stuff. In you know what I'm face. saying? Young. All the way down the patches, like you could have seen the markings on their jackets and like anyway. But I feel like today, how we're representing is more in our, is in our style of dress. Mm -hmm. Like we may not notice it, but if you look around, personally me, when I'm looking around, I always see, especially on women, like you may see on an earring, mm -hmm. right? A symbol or the continent of Africa. You may see it on the mm -hmm. chain. You may see it on the hair wraps yeah, yeah. with the prints and everything. Like, we don't necessarily pay attention to it, but if you look at it, like, if you're looking for that type of stuff, you're going to yeah. see it. It's, like, right there in our face every single day. Yeah, the dashikis, mm -hmm. everything. All right, y'all. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.